A fair coin is tossed repeatedly with results y0, y1, y2, etc. The take value is 0 or 1 with probability 1 half each. For n greater than or equal to 1, let xn equal yn plus yn minus 1 be the number of ones in the n minus oneth and nth tosses. Is xn a Markov chain? So let's consider here for a moment about what a Markov chain is and the Markov property, which essentially states that given the current state, any other information about the pass is irrelevant for predicting xn plus 1. So if we're given xn, that's all we need to predict xn plus 1. If we're given xn minus 1 to predict xn, all we need is xn minus 1. So what we're going to do here is we're going to compute some probabilities. That's the best way to see that xn is actually not a Markov chain. And it's dependent on more than one of the, one of the past occurrences. So for example, let's take the probability x3 equals 2 given that x1 equals 1 and x2 equals 1. So just for a moment here, let's focus on this xn, the definition of xn. xn equals yn plus yn minus 1. So if we take x1 equals y1 plus y0 equals 1, and x2 equals y2 plus y1 equals 1. The only values that these y's can take, as we said previously, are 0 and 1. So this means that x1 has to equal 1, or excuse me, y1 has to equal 1, whereas y0 equals y2, which equals 0. So now moving on to the x3, this equals y3 plus y2 equals 2. However, we know that this y2 equals 0. So this means that y3 equals 2, which is impossible, right? Because these yi's can only take the value 0 or 1. So therefore, this happens with probability 0. So this is 0. Similarly, we'll pick other, other xn's with reasonable values uh, that come out, to a, come out to a different probability, not being 0, um, just so I can show you guys that uh, another example of, of where why this isn't a Markov chain. So let's now compute the probability of x3 again being 2. However, this time we're going to make x1 equals 0 and x2 equals 1. And this probability is 1 half. I'll show you again why this is in the same way. x1 equals y1 plus y0 equals 0 where x2 equals y2 plus y1 equals 0. So the only possible combination for these, for this small system of equations here, the only solution for these yi's are that y1 equals y0 equals 0. Oh, excuse me, I messed this up here. This is supposed to be a 1. Let me just change that. Um, and that y2 is going to be 1, right? So as we move on, just like above, x3 equals y3 plus y2 equals 2. However, we know that this y2 equals 1. Therefore, y3 equals 1 with probability 1 half. So even though that we know uh, the value of x2, knowing the value of x1 also affects this, this value of x3, which is, isn't the previous state. It's two states back, which directly contradicts the definition I gave at the beginning. Therefore, xn is not a Markov chain.